I'm CT. When I'm not busy being Arrow, the podcaster, I live in the real world. I mean, everybody has to have a job, right? Mine just happens to be customer service. Yep, see us. Solutions, relationships, while keeping my team motivated and pumped up to keep a constant connection with each and every person who has chosen to stop into our location that day. Episode number 115, car theft, cheer wine, beer, and self-checkout closed? This is CTCS. Transition walk, day number one out of three. Yeah, I got a performance this Saturday night. Back to that live stage. Looking forward to it, but man, I'll tell you what, it's freezing inside this forest this morning. The sun is out, there's a cool breeze, but here in the south, man, with that humidity in the air and it gets this chilly, which is like 53 degrees, woo! Cold to the bone, baby, cold to the bone. Uh, no, I'm not looking forward to going into CS. Come on. Man, a place with a head and a heart. This time of year, people don't want to come to work. And then what happens? You still got to show up. You still got to be there. You got to be the team player. The best mindset is to go in there thinking like a winner, not somebody who's been abused. Well, it's the kind of day we're having here, and it's a day of a lot of thefts. And we've already caught two people within the first 15, 20 minutes of me being here at the store. And uh, they're coming in in groups is what they're doing. And that's where you've got to be very much aware of what's going on if you start seeing two or more people. But when you start having Dove soap and you've got like 15, 16 bars, that's the family you got to watch. That's the one that's going to be doing something that you know is not going to be legal. Dave, who helps stock the shelves each day, asks the question, how do you know that they're just stealing things? And you, it's, it's a feeling, and more importantly, it's an experience, because we've seen it so many times, and we've had department managers that have, have said, just let them go. It's not your store. And it's just one of those things that gets underneath your skin, and when you see it in action, we made no contact with these two women at all. What we did was we just made ourselves visible, and we were available if they wanted to have a conversation. But then when they realized that we knew what they were up to it didn't take long for them to say goodbye so the manager his car is busted into oh yeah i didn't even yeah i totally forgot to tell you about that I said, that did you know what happened with that no this lady comes in yesterday and she goes are you the manager and i go i'm the customer service and she goes uh there's two young punks out here and she didn't say they were breaking in anything and so i call alex and i'm like hey there's a lady that says there's two kids looking at cars in the parking lot and my first instinct was she's being racist or she's profiling right 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 and alex goes well, let's go out there together and we were walking and we're getting closer to my car and i'm going oh shit and we turn the corner and there's glass on the ground Uh oh and alex goes do you know whose car this is and i go i have no idea i've never seen whoever drives it he goes it's mine and I went, what? And, and he's like, yeah. He's like, they, they broke in my fucking car. Wow. And um, he had a book bag that all it had in it was old tennis shoes. And so my theory was they saw that bag. Yeah. Because what they're doing in San Francisco is called splashing. And they take a um, uh, spark plug. Right. And right. they break the porcelain. They use that point. And they break out the back windows. They go in, they grab the bag, and they take off. Because it's the Christmas season. Yes. Yeah. Well, over there, it's every day. Yeah. But I think it's starting to head this way. Wow. And I was amazed. I mean, it's like, it's like it's already here now. Yeah. They were grilling me up front about um, why I don't want to interview Taylor Swift. <gasps> and you don't. And, and, I, and, and but, but, but my answer, I think you're going to understand. Okay. That she is a professional interview. Mm. That she would know what question I'm going to ask her three words into asking the question because so many people have asked her questions. Yeah. And so as an interviewer, wouldn't you say maybe later on, like yeah. in 10 or 15 years? Yeah. You know, because right now we kind of know everything. Yeah. It's the same thing over and over again. I've Every time I'm scrolling through like my Instagram feed, it's the same news about you mm-hmm. over and over and over again. Just a little different perspective. I think she deserved for sort of a year. I think she did, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I really Here's the reason why I think so, because she donated a lot of her, or gave away a lot of her money to yeah. her employees. She didn't and, have to. No one nope, told her to. No, nope, nope, but she took care of her people. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I vote for her for that. But as for all the songs that are on the radio, I don't know. What? Too much. No. Too much. Her vault songs on the 1989 mm-hmm. album are my favorite ones. <laughs> I absolutely love them. <laughs> it's the only thing I'm listening to nowadays. So yeah. please. That guy came in last night. Or early in the afternoon, yes. Uh, started with Alex. And and he walked by Alex and he goes, Look, who's the I don't understand why it's so hard. And so Alex hears me talking about him and he comes up and he goes, Look, what's the deal with that guy? And I go, He started shit with Holly. He cussed with Holly. Holly corrected him. I go, He started shit with me in produce one day. 
And and I had to eat it because everything he brought up was marked wrong. So I apologize and gave him. I was like, he does be shit to everybody. He, he talks down to people and makes you feel like video. And I was just like, okay. But I'm just like, I'm over with that. Like, we don't have to take that fucking abuse. So like, yeah. Because there's no need to talk down to people. No. Oh, she put him in his place. I know. Yeah, yes. Yeah, he won't fuck with her, boy. <laughs> What's going on with this cheer one? So what happened is he called up for the, the cheer holiday. Yeah. yeah. The cheer holiday wine. And I thought he was asking for the cheer wine here, the holiday mix. I, right. I was telling him, no, you have to go directly to Noda to pick that up. He says, you, you, you can't get it in the store. He says, well, why is my wife buying it down in Florida then? And I'm going... That's that's impossible because I was at the brewery. And she wasn't buying, it. and then and then he then he goes, well, you know the soda and the two liter bottles. They, I was thinking it's beer. Yeah, but I'm shocked they sell that in full. That's a regional. It's your wine. But you said there's five. There's only five over there. There's three. No, no, no. The holiday. The holiday. That's what I did. No, no. I said there's a difference. One is one is cranberry. This one's the holiday. Show me. <laughs> Show me. Yeah, I, have I might buy one of those five. <laughs> oh, no. no. Don't do that to him. Don't do that to him. So, no. See, it's the limited edition holiday cheer wine. Yeah, there's only five of them here. No, no, that, it goes back. But, see, we don't know how far it goes back on that. So, I assume oh, it's all fine. Because, because look at the rest of these. It's, it's everything mixed with Canada. Okay. Right? Yeah, I bought some of this. You know what it's supposed to be? So cheer wine, pineapple, and ginger ale. That's exactly what the beer is. So, really? the, yeah, the beer is 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 cherry and and pineapple. But when I drink it, one tastes of pop. Whoa, you got to do the beer. Well, I have had the beer. It's pretty good. Really good. Do you have the holiday mix of the beer? No. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you can only get that at the brewery. Oh. And so when we went camping this week, we we had a we had a, a, a full case. Is it good? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Now, I didn't drink the case. Well, no. I only had one beer. I hope. <laughs> but how many do we have? No, none. Oh, okay. See, guys, just me. Wow. Just me. No, I saw her just stuffing bags just full of right, random stuff. Right, But he's like, he had to see her. And then when you told me, when you told me, I looked over and I saw her just fucking <laughs> empty in that cooler. I literally watched And then she walks by Toya and she goes... Can I get five hundred dollars in cash back? And Toya's like, "You got to buy something." She knew she was stealing. Yeah. And everyone up front is like, "Hey, we got to stop her." And then he's like, "I have to steal it." But and I saw it. As I, we all saw it, out. and that's what pisses me off. And she's like, "It ain't like we didn't know who she was. She's done it before." And so, like that shit affects our bonus check. It affects our morale. And it's bull around. It's, 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 it's bull. Yeah. 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 We all work our asses off to buy what little shit we can buy. And then people get to walk in here and load their fucking card up and they get the free ass walk. But wait, they made it better. We got 25 bucks for the holiday. Yeah. Some people here didn't even get that. Wow. Wow. Yeah. 20, what, what did we get last year? We got $100, right? Is that what it was? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. So we got 25 We got $100 in January, uh, November and $100 in December. Now we get 25 And they grossed $5.8 billion this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. And profit. Wow, and yep. we get us twenty-five million dollars. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, I was here when it was just a figment of her imagination. Yeah, he was, was here. The little thing right here, the little man. And, and she was trying to. And I asked her if she, she was making a gift bag, like for wine and stuff. Yeah. No, then she explains it to me, and look, and it worked. I finally got a little gingerbread man. Look right here. Let's eat a party. Oh, oh, are they gingerbread man? What did you think they were? I thought they were like people holding hands. They're gingerbread <laughs> man. Okay. <laughs> For, for Christmas, you know, gingerbread man. Yeah, I, you've so, never you know, seen these. I don't. I don't know. I didn't realize that's what they were. I just How thought they were people. Look at the round heads, the the weird hands, the weird feet. This is clearly gingerbread man. I see it now that you point that out. Oh my god! How did you not see it before? <laughs> Well, 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 look what we have above each register at self-checkout. They now come with their own camera, security camera. Oh, yeah. From what I understand, what happens is is that a video of you at that register will play if there is a mistake that's been made. And it's to kind of tell you that, hey, look, we're watching you. But, man, those things look hot. Now, if we can only get other people to stop stealing things. Do you really think this is going to work? Okay, this is going to be our first edition of What Would You Do? Do you think it would work? I don't think so. Transition walk, day number two out of three. Two days into this, and this body is already rocking. 
In other words, it's sore. I'm praying for anybody that's in retail or even these manufacturers who have to, you know, get their game going because they've got products to sell and being it's the holiday season, they need to move that line. Get that stuff on those shelves and make it happen. Don't care if your body is hurting. Get out there. We need this from you. And of course, as the employees were all going, oh my God, nobody cares. They care. But the thing is, is that do we care about what their vision is? Can we come to an understanding here? Yeah, headed in to see us. But first, I got to do this transition walk through this forest in South Charlotte, North Carolina. Cold as hell out here. But hey, got to let go before I can receive. Today is the infamous walkthrough where the top dogs of the corporate side of the business come walking through the store to find out how it looks, how it's performing. Oh, you should see how blocked these shelves are. Ooh, it's fancy looking. It's almost like a brand new store and I'm a virgin walking through it. But yeah, the managers and stuff, they're, not, they're just all freaked out, freaked out because the big guys are coming. And the big decision makers came, they walked around the store, they did a lot of talking, they did a lot of laughing, and then they left. What does any of this even mean? What did they learn about our store? Wouldn't you like to see the research on something like that and how they prepped to come here? Because remember, I'm a prepper. I'm a pro prepper. What kind of prep did they do in order to come here? Did they have to pre-prep? Say, hey, here are some areas that we need to look at. We presently have a pretty serious situation. Yesterday, one of our MODs, one of our managers on duty, their car was broken into, and it's a Kia, and Kia are cars that are being swiped right now. Uh, the, the guy is back today, so we've had to run out into the parking lot to kind of you know, intercept this guy from trying to get back in the car because he was there at his car again. So there's something in this car that this dude wants. I mean, he, he definitely wants to jump. The, the Kia uh, that belongs to the manager. The police are on the way. This parking lot is on fire with action. Now we have a crime that's actually taken place out there. And what's happened is, is that a guest, they pull their, their cart up on the left side of the car, go to the other side to open it. By the time they get back, every bit of their groceries stolen. That's what happens. you got that many people in this parking lot all at one time. A lot of thefts going on right now. And the rule breaking just doesn't end today. And now we're back in the store and a guy comes up and he's going to buy himself some cigarettes and some beer. Gives me a $50 bill and he jokingly says, yeah, I just printed that up today. Guess what, jerk? It really was a fake $50 bill right there in front of me. And I looked at him and he goes, it must be my bank, man. I swear to God, I just got this from the bank. Transition walk, day number three out of three. Had a live performance last night. Love being on that live stage to watch people just explode in energy, fun, laughter. And then you go to CS, and you know what? It can be the same way. Share the energy with them. I mean, that's really the only reason why I go is to be with them. All of this started because of the COVID lockdown. I couldn't just stand being at home. Locked in. Don't do anything. So my wife said, go get a damn job at a grocery store. Oh, never thought about that. But it changed me. So yeah, even though I'm very, very, very tired, I'm exhausted. Uh, gotta go do CS. CS, you know, that, you know what that stands for, right? Solutions. You've been here longer than me today. Would you say this qualifies pretty much as a, a typical Sunday shit show? Yeah, I mean, maybe a little less. I don't think it's quite as bad as it. It could be. It feels like it is, though. I mean, because I'm seeing two two people deep. And it's, it's like, where are they all coming from? And it feels like a normal Sunday to me. <laughs> <laughs> so they need to get home. She's, I, I've already got them like, worked out. Already got three o'clock. And look at the reason why it's going to be three, because they've got two people coming in at three. Look at that. Hey, good who's, job. Who's getting really good here? Good job. Uh, uh, I, I, you, you don't have to come in on Sundays anymore. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll just I'll go home now. You guys should be good. <laughs> that last transaction, I guess. Uh huh. Yeah. Did I display a fake laugh at all? Uh, kind of. You did it. What? Yeah. You know, I'm working on that. I mean, I'm working on that. I, I mean, if you if it's a party, you can't really help it, right? Right. I mean, it's not hurting anything. You know, it's I pick up on it because I know it's not you, but, <laughs> but they don't. Know. See, that's a real laugh. Though. That when I yeah, that was yeah, yeah. So I don't have. <laughs> That was real, too. Well, no, no, that was actually fake. No. Yeah, because what that is like a golf clap. He's, that, the only reason why you clapped is because... It was nervous awkwardness. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's yeah. it. Well, that's what they told me in radio. The only reason why I laugh on the air is because I, I'm nervous. I think psychologically people do that in general, right? Mm -hmm. Like everyone does that. We all have ways we deflect. I try to make terrible jokes, you know, shit like that. And then you make fun of yourself when you do a terrible joke. Right. I'll say a bad joke on purpose. 
Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for that. I love it when they bring back something and they, you know, you don't give them a bag. So what happens is, is that then they go, Oh, I don't want to get caught stealing. They don't realize that we're not going to chase you down anyway. No, <laughs> we can't, we can't. Even if we could, I don't think any of us will. You can have $500 for those chocolate bars and we're still not going to chase you down. <laughs> take it if you want to. That's it. It's yours. It's your store. So one day we're told we're not supposed to ever take anything back for, for, from Instacart. No, well, that's not Instacart. That she did. She bought it online from our store. Okay, okay. And had it picked up and put it in her car. But I was told even with that, they have to go to the store they picked it up from to replace yeah. it. Yeah. So they're telling me in my ear to go ahead and do it. I'll do it, but like make your mind up what our policy is. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm, yeah, because someone's going to come knocking on your door, sure. and then and then you're going to have to explain it, and they're going to say, hey, look, you know, it's like one of the uh, managers on duty the other night uh, was was fixing one of the Visa cards that was broke, but because I was checked into the uh, the, um, the register, then they came and questioned me, saying I did it, and I didn't do it. Right. It was the manager on duty that did it. Right. Yeah. And so so then I had to, you know, but they still, they put that pressure on you because it was it was a $50 thing. Right. And so it's like, come on, it wasn't me. Right. And our policy is for what she returned. It was over $25. We so supposed to have the receipt. So I'm going to write on here uh, for the manager. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. And that covers your ass. That's right. Hey. The plot hey. thickens. You must be the new cashier. Yes, yeah. I'm the new janitor. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're the new janitor. Yeah. Every right. time I've seen you, you've been running a register. Oh, right. uh, that's, a, well, that's part of the janitor's yeah. job. It's about the same. Yeah. Yeah. No different. Oh, Got to yeah. go in there, clean up after him, come out of here, clean up after him. Yeah. You know? yeah. Get coughed on and spit on. Yeah. Hey, I love it. Yeah. Plot thickens on this house. What? Well, there's a story behind that salmon. Okay. Okay. They don't sell that salmon. It actually is from the from the butcher back there, and they, they let it thaw out, and then they'll put it out as fresh salmon. So, with now- so when they did the shop this morning, they pulled it, I guarantee you, is what they did. Or they put it out there in the fall? Because you said it was from this morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. So my thought process is they put it out the fall, and, and the shopper just picked it up, picked it up, and took it. Yeah, because we we don't sell that that brand, and it was still fuzzy. Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. We don't sell it. No, not not in on the shelves. Oh, it, that's what they put inside the actual butcher area. Okay, they let it thaw out. That's what they do. Okay, interesting. Well, no wonder she didn't want them. Shutting down self checkout at this point in time. We have uh, two dozen eggs that are shattered all over the place. It is a slippery, really bad area for anybody to be in. So we're breaking out the big super vac, and we got to get this thing cleaned up. Self checkout is closed on a very busy Sunday. The most irritating thing about self checkout being closed at this point in time, because we have two dozen broken eggs on the floor, is that people are just walking right through it. They don't give a shit. They just, they just walk right through it. I said, we have eggs on the floor. Oh, okay. And then they just keep on walking because they don't understand that it is closed. All right, man, I'm making the phone call. She had reported that her credit card was missing, and we just found it. So she was kind enough to give us her phone number. So we're going to give her a buzz right now. Hi, is this Claire? Hi, Claire. This is CT. We found your credit card. It's up at customer service. It absolutely is. They found it uh, outside. You bet. You have a great night, all right? All right, bye. Oh, she was very, very excited. Because, I mean, she was almost in tears when I saw her. She's got maybe 21, 22 years old. So this isn't your first credit card. It's kind of a bitch. I think I've come up with the greatest Christmas present ever. I'm talking about ever. Better than the Tesla new pickup. I walked up to a coworker and I said, here's your Christmas present. She says, what is it? I said, it's an empty box. She says, oh, thanks for the empty box, but why do I need an empty box? I said, because somewhere you're going to need a box. And because I took the time to think of you in this moment of having an empty box, I'm giving it to you. Do you not think that's the greatest Christmas present ever? Give an empty box to somebody because one day they're going to need it. I live by one rule. If I see something that's out of place, I go, I pick it up, I put it back where it needs to be. Well, here's the thing that I saw tonight. A jar of mayonnaise beneath one of the end caps in the front of the store. And I thought to myself, that means I have to get on my, my hands and knees to get that. Oh, you know your rule. you got to put it back. So I get down there. There's three things of mayonnaise, an orange that is as hard as a rock, and there's a, a Coke bottle, and there's, 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 there's even some, some beans and rice. And it's like, how long has this been down here? Well, the mayonnaise, the expiration date, was February of 2023. It's December of 2023. Close! All right, there you have it. Another exciting edition of CTCS. Hey, do me a favor. Create a podcast with your business. You know, we want to learn about what you do, what your ups are, your downs, your in-betweens, the changes, the challenges. So create a podcast. Why don't we just teach each other what the business is all about?